me show you something. How many times have you tried to simulate cloth like this? Or strips like this? Maybe ship masts? Those look really cool. Or maybe a parachute? But you end up making this. Uh oh. We've all been there. But those days are about to end because I've made Cascade Plus. It's an amazing real-time cloth simulation library with the select and deploy functionality so you wouldn't have to simulate a thing. And you can easily deploy thousands of these simulations in one scene. Now when you download the add-on you'll get these files including documentation and this simulation zip file. You will need to extract the first file and it will extract all the files automatically. So you get this folder and you can place it wherever you like because this is big. Right, so inside Blender we'll do the usual drill of installing an add-on, so edit, preferences. We go to the add-ons tab and install from disk. Now we'll navigate it where we've downloaded the add-on and we'll install it as zip. And there it is. We need to do one thing first because we can't see simulations at the moment. So when you open the drop down of the add-on, you'll need to provide a file path. And that is where the simulation folder comes in. So you go to the simulation folder, you open it, and then right towards the end, there'll be a file. You'll need to provide the path of this file here. And now you can see the simulations. Well done. Save preferences and we're ready to work with the add-on now. If you click on the thumbnail here, you'll see a multitude of simulations that we've got here. And there are more than a hundred to choose from. Now the search is already giving recommendations, so let's try feather. And there's a feather flag here, so we can click. And there are three tiers of wind velocity. There's low, medium and high. And these also serve as universal filters for wind speed. Let's clear the search and if we click on the thumbnail, we can see that there are three different colors. There's white, there is gray and there is black. And these all correspond to the wind velocity. If we click low, it will show everything with low wind velocity. If we click medium, it will show gray, which is everything with medium wind velocity. And similarly, white is high wind velocity. Okay, let's look for some flags. These are all the flags that we've got here. And like always, we can filter them based on wind velocities. So if you press medium, these are all the medium ones that we've got. For now, we can select flag medium, which says in its name as well that this has medium wind velocity. So this is important. The simulations will deploy where you put the 3D cursor. I've made it deliberately so that we have flexibility where the simulations get deployed. So by clicking the deploy simulation button, the simulation is there. And if we play it, it just plays real time. Great, isn't it? And you can do all sorts of things with it. The things that you do with normal objects. So you can mess with the transforms where you can change the scale, particularly in one axis and it's going to scale in that axis. So it changes the shape of how the simulation itself looks. And we can duplicate it like any other objects and it will still play real time. You can practically duplicate it a thousand times and it will still play real time. I know what you're thinking that the phase of all the flags is the same. We'll fix that in a bit. For now, let's just deploy more simulations, just for the fun of it, really. And deploy sim. So you can see that we've got um, seven simulations at the moment and they're all running really, really well. Really happy with it. Now in order to have a phase offset, we'll use the simulation tools here. With the concern simulation selected, we click on individualize simulations and that makes it single user copies. And then we can click on randomize simulations to give it a phase difference. It gives you a bit of a deeper level control. So you can use one simulation and make it as if it were multiple simulations. I'm eager to show you the texture panel as well. So if you click on the thumbnail there, 
there are 100 plus textures that you can select from and of course you can use your own textures as well these are just uh, to help you out to give you some ideas so it's as simple as selecting the object selecting the texture that we want and apply texture and we can quickly do the same with the rest of the two flags there we are this third flag here gives us great opportunity to discover the other options in this panel as well. The individualized texture is used to make the texture as a single user and we can use the scale to essentially scale the UV coordinates and hence the mapping of the texture. And it all happens real time with the live feedback. We've also got offset which moves the texture in vertical or horizontal positions. So with scaling and with offset, you can pretty much get the texture and the mapping. I want to show you a bit of a gimmick. So if you click on the texture and you click add micro details, it just does a bit of a hacky magic and it gives that texture a bit of a grainy feel that you could find sometimes useful. So I want to demonstrate some of the textures are actually three in one textures. Right now the textures are connected so we click on individualized textures and we can play with the offset to bring the other patterns in the same texture file. You often find it in the banner patterns that I've provided. And so by using Cascade and all of this functionality, maybe you can use your own song of ice and fire. Now by using all that we've learned, we'll make a character using Cascade. So if we type cape and deploy simulation, let's just adjust the positioning a little and we can select a hood. This would be all right. And because this is modular, we can move it around, we can scale it, we can change what whatever works really and then we'll give it a flag make a pull why not rotate it to adjust to the pull let's give it some texture there so select a different one let's try the sorcerer one apply texture we can change the scale we can change the mapping as well to just bring this triangle part a little bit closer up to the neck and then same goes for the other fabric we can have this blood moon like texture for the flag and we can use blender's own lattice modifier to make the simulations fit together closely so because there are a few intersections between the hood and the cape we'll use the lattice modifier to just move it around get rid of the big intersections you know you get the point all right so here's the before and after of the lattice modifier and we are done really we can just add in a couple more simulations. So this is one, two, three, four, five simulations currently running in real time. Isn't it amazing? Do subscribe to my free email newsletter and my Patreon. I promise you'll find great, great value there. All right, this has been it. I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.